So. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say anything. Okay. Is that like uh, saying it's a quiet day in the ER? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those birds. <laughs> They're just so happy. They're like, what you got here? <laughs> Imagine when it comes back up. I think it's going to be worse. I bet they'll wait for us this whole time. Yeah, probably. They're going to be so disappointed. They are. Yep. <laughs> and deck uh, tether is completely out. Roger. Roger. Hi, our V team is the um, CTD powered. I don't know, but uh, now's not a good time. Stand by. Whee. And deck, uh, just to let you guys know, Hercules is to starboard of center. Yeah, I'm working on it. It's, a, it's full lateral to uh, start. Copy. We're working on it. I can move the ship. Uh, I think I'm hanging in there. Okay. I think I'm full lateral, but I think we're there. Some big heaves. Yeah. Let's like wait for it. Am I going down now? Is Atlanta going down? Van, deck, Atlanta's in the water. Roger. Roger. Straight down. Six meters. Meters. Can you turn on Atlanta's depth sensor, please? Oh, you got that? Mm -hmm. There we are. Good. Three meter delta. Looking good. Well, come here. Megan, do you have that other screen here that shows? Uh, yeah, I will switch it. I just needed to update the yeah, uh, yeah, sound sure. speed. It's all good. When you get a chance. There you are. Hey, look, there I am. All right, 
you happy to switch to back to the dive salvo? I am. Everything's still on the porch. Yep. That's what we like to see. Perfect. Well, not actually, but uh, great. It's fine. It was safe. How's that? Is bridge nav? Is that is that bubble? Can we hold position? Huh. Thank you. Nothing, I just wanted to make sure. What's supposed to be up here then? It looks like two cameras is, oh yeah. There we go. Dink. We did it. Ah, so it's one or the other, I remember now. It's <laughs> great. 65 meters. Oh, we're getting there. I'm going to start and bring some lights up, mate. Sure. Okay, that's... Does he call us? Should we call him at 75? Okay, we're there. <laughs> he, they usually call us. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Trevor lied. Okay. Coming up. And deck, I'll stop at 75. Control sent. Roger. Control. Got control. Going down. Yep. Got that's it. That's not what I want. Uh, they're all missing the needle, obviously. Everything was fine. Uh, it's just uh, we had some a bit of a miscommunication with Pete. Um, um, not Pete. A video. Pete, right? I got that. Yes, right? that's Pete. Yeah. Yeah. We did say to the deck to, and to wait, but they carried on. And then on. there was a slight mis miscommunication on the radio. We figured it all out. If we had needed something to tell you to stop, we would have told you, but we figured it out, but uh, next time we'll be smoother. It's all fine. This is an audio so slate for do? dive 1976. UTC time 20 zero one two zero mark now my question is if they're zeroed here so now we have a half turn we come back up Can you just slow down a wee bit mate why don't you speed up because I'm already I'm, at I'm, I'm bugging you <laughs> and you're going way too quick all right give me this give me this thing I'll just do everything But now it's going to be the opposite. Is that? Zero around right now. Tail to tail. Hi. Oh, you're operated at depth because you turned Atlanta around. We're at 135 meters. Hey, LV team, is now a better time for the CTD? It is. Much better. Thank you. Uh, Dave, is the CTD on for ONC? If you wouldn't mind. Roger. I hear you, you've only got one set of eyes watching everything then. We also operate 
Yeah. <laughs> Hey, video, Pete. Uh, I just want to clarify. So next time when we're launching, we need to have the cameras up before we come off deck because you need to do certain things with them. Is that correct? That's correct. So yeah, we just do a quick rack and focus zoom test. Okay. Um, and then just verifying that uh, these controls are working. So that is a, a no dive if gotcha. these aren't going. Um, and then... Um, yeah, that's about it. It's just making sure the cameras are working. I've routed those down to SATs. So that's kind of secondary to making sure the cameras are doing what they're supposed to do. Okay, next time we will be on that. So there's a question that came in about what's on the left side of Hercules. It's yellow. It's a knife. It's for her dive operations. So at some point, we'll need that. All good ROV should dive with a knife. 
have you been able to confirm the CTD is powered on? It is powered on, yeah. That's not enough. Powered on and producing data. It's powered on. Data looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful data. Beautiful. Oh, we got 1.1 meg. Sweet news. Green lights. Oh, I'm going too fast. Part of this, um, Ricky, can you confirm with Shore that port J7 on JB7 is turned off? There's port nothing plugged into it. No, there's nothing plugged in, and we already confirmed that port 7 on JB07 is powered off. It's powered off? It is off. Okay, thank you. You can go grab a... This is a good time. You can go grab a jacket. It's gonna, it's gonna be okay. So currently we're at about 390 meters and our target depth is about 870 meters.
Can you see a squid or an octopus? <laughs> it's really hanging on there. Yeah, it was kind of big and long-legged. See, we're at that, that depth I was telling you about where all the stuff is. Yeah, it is very active right now. But I guess we're not going that deep, so it might be active the whole way down. Um, it'll li lighten up as we get closer to the bottom. But the upside of being shallow is it doesn't take as long. <laughs> oh, that's a nice safe on a four.
Bridge Nav. Hi, um, can we make a 20 meter move, uh, 130? Uh, port 3 is great. So ready.
Is it more comfortable on your lap? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, off mute, just a clock off, slowing my descent, bottom in sight. Mm -hmm. Look at all those guys. <laughs> all right. See, there we go, 30 meter separation right now. I'm at the end of my tether. Right. I'm going to start swing around and look at you. Okay. Uh, I don't think you're going to get there. I'm pretty stretched out, Dave. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Megan, where am I going? Um, so you're going to be headed this way. Okay. Um, I guess we want to do some camera stuff there, Pete? Let's do it. Um, i got to wait for the ship to stop moving. Got to mm -hmm. make sure I keep, I guess. Uh, do I? How much more we got to move here, Megan? Um, we're about halfway, so 10 more meters. Okay. Well, then I'm, I'm safe. Um, stand by. Do we have a uh, DVL for an auto XY yet? Is that a thing? I will turn that on. Okay. Hey, Pete. Yes, sir. Um, do we want, so we're going to do a survey later, apparently. Um, and there's a whole bunch of junk on the porch. So I guess if we white balance now, we'll have to do it again, is the impression I'm getting from uh, the more experienced Trevor here. But maybe we'll Whatever wrong. works best for you guys. OK. Um, let's just do it two times. We're good for the DVL there, Megan? Yep, it's on. Okay. Beep, beep, boop. Negative, you want it on? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Good. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, Is that a rock? <coughs> it could just be bioturbated. Where does area. that turn on? get a chance can you get the arm out for a white balance please sure just because you All right, we're done moving uh the boat's still moving the boat is done moving done moving oh look at that thank you i think where are we working between here between there and yeah here and well also the place we're plugging in is Way south of us. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's oh. only seventy meter long hose. Yeah. Coming up on hydraulics, man. It can't be I that far. Roger, uh, go for it. It's according to this map. It is thirty-one meters away. Oh no! I want to do that. Sixty sixty-five meters away. Yeah, but where where is it on now there? It's not on your map. Oh. Because they didn't go there. Okay. Yet, because they dropped the chicken bucket. So we gotta. Find then we gotta that. gotta go plug it I in. See. <coughs> I'm 
sit there somewhere for now. See how you get on, Pete. Uh, yeah, I'll get up there for you, Pete. Thanks, sir. Oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. There we go. All right. So when I hit the black balance, you're gonna see the camera go black for a few seconds here. Roger. Let's zoom in a little more. Where's on the that. bubble, Dave? That. Oh, can you put it on the porch, please? Um. Yeah. Well, oh, it's not a preset anymore. Sort of, kinda. It's okay. I'll use this. Does this work? Should. Yeah. Let's do this one more time. Okay, store that. Okay, we're good for now for this one. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Pete. Okay, so we're going there. We're going north ish. Northeast. Yep. North, northeast. Hey, Dirk. Um. Yeah. You want to get on comms and I do am your on job? Comms here. Well, job's essentially <laughs> done. You guys are checking through. I'm trying to get the digital stills camera working here. Well, that's not your job. It is. It's all part of the all part of the job. What's that, Dirk? What's that? Uh, I think that's it. Is that it? Uh, hold on. First, let's. Can we start at the IP? Is that it? I don't know. I think far away. Is, is that Can't not? Tell. Looks like it. Yeah. Looks like that's it. That's it. So sweet. Boom. Okay, That's once we're totally there. That's where we saw it earlier. I just want to, um, right. first thing, I just want to fly by here, like a pirouette around the IP. Just kind of see what the cables are doing. Uh, stand by one, Dirk. Can we, how, f I'm still getting tugged, so. I can come down. You've got 35 of a delta right now. Yeah, we might have to get a bit closer, but it depends which direction we're, we're laying this cable. We're going to go 168, six, 62 meters from so here. So pretty much south? Nope. Yeah. Okay, so can we get the ship here-ish, please, Megan? Oh, you want to go here? Yeah. Vargas here somewhere. All right. Back of the ship there, please. Atlant Atalanta, I should say. You want Atalanta here? Yeah, but I'm pulling her right now, so so you should might as well get the back of the ship there. Okay. Please. Mm -hmm. uh, 40 where meters. Where Bridge nav. Can we make a 40 meter move, 130? Ah, gotcha. Thanks. Uh, hey, Dirk. Yeah, go ahead. What is our next, what is our first task, I guess? First task is to go to, well, we're doing this pirouette, and then we're going to go to the chicken bucket that we just put down. Did you say we're doing a pirouette? Well, mm -hmm. a spin, a 360 go, around, go around the, the around Yeah, the uh, if yeah. possible. I'd oh yeah. I mean, I don't know if it requires a ship move. It might not yeah. be worth it, but I just want to. We gotta wait. I'm still toit. Yeah. And uh, can we also get a confirmed position and heading of the IP, unless we did it in a previous dive? We will come back here to connect it, so then we can get a good position once we're facing that connector it, panel. It's difficult to get a heading because okay. we have the oily on the porch there. Yeah. So we'll we'll we but yeah put that down for. Next time. Mm. Nope, not here. I just want to see what we're dealing with when, before we start pulling something over. <laughs> yeah. But I think this is, uh, I finally got this digital stills running. That's, that's always a little on the blurry side. There we go. It's good pictures. I just got to make sure they save to the right folder. I like our crab friends. Yeah. Ooh, look at that guy. 
Yeah, they're really trying to claim space there. Does look like Paralomus. Where's the chicken bucket? Um, are you asking me? Who are you uh, asking? Somebody, whoever can answer the question, I guess. The, the dive plan says it's at, at a heading of 168 and about 62 meters from here, but if you dropped a position before, it's likely there. Yeah, there must be a position for it. Flight temp, yep. So, had to zoom Seven. out. Ricky, what's the current dive? 65 number? meters, 168. It's 76. 76, okay. yeah. 76, perfect, thank you. All right, save into the right folder. We're really almost there. And sure, just inform that, that us that we have Martin Shervas um, available in the stakeholder chat for question on the sonar deployment if any questions come up. Hi, Martin. I don't know if he's there yet. I'll be quick. <sighs> so just wait. Well, let me know when I can say hi. Okay, I will. You can keep trying, and I'll just tell you. Hi, Martin. Yeah, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually, speaking of which, Martin just commented, and he says, hi. <laughs> wow, perfect timing, Josh. So you were wrong the whole time? Uh, no, I was right. <laughs> you just said it. But sort of wrong. But no, you were wrong. How would he know that I said hi if he wasn't on when you said he wasn't on? Ah, uh, there's a thinker. Maybe he jumped the gun and said hi first? I don't know. That's possible. It seems unlikely. Uh, yeah. We'll never know. <laughs> we'll well, there's, never no way, there's no way there's of knowing no way this. There's no way to know. Unless he confirms Martin, or denies. Martin, if you write in that Dirk was wrong in general and everything. <laughs> Let the record show. Okay, I'm still super tight. Come on, uh, well, come on, come on, come on. She's coming. I'm just impatient. I noticed. <laughs> She'll be coming around. Martin says he's like a Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> so, Josh? I'm not a big cat guy, so... <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't know. You haven't been following the cat stories. So. What? There's more than one? There's so many cat stories out there. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can go around this platform this way. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a little bit of this. How about that? Wait, is it? There is a crab. Is it like half eaten? <laughs> half eaten? Half yeah, eaten. like right right above the um, the plugins. It's a like crab. Oh, he might be molting. Oh, um, maybe. That would be kind of cool. A soft shell. A crab. Right. There's like a fish that's in the like right above the plugins, and then there's a crab there, and it looks a little weird. Molting. I think that sea snakey thingy is eating it. Yeah, I don't think that crab's molting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is um, this is a good that's view. That's a hagfish. We are. Let me just snap a picture. We're looking for J seven. So the connector we're There's looking for is actually on the other side of this. Other side. Yeah, we're looking on the, we want to be on the north side. North side. You mean nope. this side? There's no connectors here. Yeah, sorry. On the side we were looking at, we're looking for J7. Okay. Do you want to go back there? Yeah, so I'll just see exactly where we're on. See that confirm it exists? All right, our ship move is done. Roger. I think Can it's I get a, a little more out on this? Sure. Please. You're not that you're, you are pretty slack. Yeah. Well, how come I'm still feeling the ship heave so much? Don't know. Okay, so the connector we're going to eye is um, the connector second from the right. And it's free. There's nothing plugged in. All right, that's perfect. Okay. 
Now what? Now we navigate, if the ship's in the right spot, we can navigate over to the chicken bucket. 162 or whatever Megan says. 168. 168. That is what I've been saying too, so that's great. You said 162? No, no, no. I said 62 meters at 168. Okay. Yeah. Agree to disagree, <laughs> but you're wrong. Uh, is your mic, is your up headset down, on? Down you can hear, up. Josh? What? Your headset's on? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, no, it works. I don't understand. What's okay? One six eight. Mm -hmm. What is this not Anything on sonar? Yet. Quite steep. Steep. Roger. Yeah. I think I might need to move the ship some more. Roger. Go for it, Megan. All right. Hey there. You're so excited to get moving? All right. Um, let's go 35 meters 170. Yeah, what was it? I was I missed it. It's like luminescent. <laughs> uh, it's pretty rolly up in the van today. I haven't noticed it at all, actually. You haven't? No. Oh. I was gonna get used to it. But uh, there's some big swells out there. Yeah. Over shore. Over shore. Over shore. Chicken bucket. I think that's probably it on your sonar now, mate, right on the nose. Ah! Megan is killing it. <laughs> CTD sampled. Copy. Uh oh. the plan, Dirk? Find this thing and and get this stuff off the porch? Yeah, it's a multi-step plan. Um, follow Most along. plans are, yeah. <laughs> we're going to get somewhere somewhere near the chicken bucket, and then we're going to remove the um, sonar bell from the porch. Uh, we, you can either land or try and do that while flying, whichever suggested while flying. And then we have to find a new position near the Chicken bucket, place this bundled oily, pull all the pins to release um, the bungees, and then fly the connector back to the IP. Well, at least yeah. there's nothing to get caught on here. 
Yeah, the survey checked out. Hey, Fabio. We've got the um, your camera all running, so we've been taking some stills. The settings are nice, looking good. Oh, there it is. There it is. Roger. Megan. Yes. Can you keep me in the screen, please? Yep. Thank you. Okay, Dirk, what's step one? Step one is we want to place a sonar bell on the seafloor. Now, we want to take this cable and connect this platform to the IP, so the sonar bell can't be in a position that's going to kind of obstruct so that cable. Out, I right? am where the cable's going to go? Yes, you are where the cable's so going to go. So you want the sonar bell anywhere over there? Anywhere over there for now. We're okay. likely still going to move the sonar bell into a different position. Roger. After we plug it in and get it going? After we plugged it in, yeah. So, And uh, a target, if you want a rough target, five meters from the um, IP. From, no, from or this from, thing. Yeah, from this thing. And there's a direction here. Uh, yeah. In the west of the rotary sonar, would to, be so. I want to be to the west of this thing. Yes, you want to be to the west, and okay. like I said, likely we'll move it again. But just for some reason, if everything works perfect, we might not move it. So five meters is kind of your target. So if I'm facing, uh, if I'm facing east and back up, that's the way we want to go. Yeah, that's correct. Cool, that works for me. Is your heading the um, the purple above you there, or what's your heading? Uh, my like? heading is 90 right now. Okay, 90 right now. Where are you seeing that on your screen? Oh, there we go. Got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay, now on sonar, we want to be five meters away, Mr. Dave. Yep. So if we could range that in, or if you could just tell me when five is. Por favor. I'm just going to range it down one. Roger. Yeah, if you want to, do you want to switch spots and you can do the you go. snapping? I mean, or right once we start the uh, surveys, you can okay. just have the seat. Okay, and so dirt. Yeah, go ahead. Can we sit here? You can. If, you, if that's a better way to remove this, definitely sit. And well, Trevor said he thinks it's better to fly this? No, no, he just suggested maybe just fly, but if you want to sit down and figure it out, know. go for that. Seems easier to sit. There's no reason you don't have to What are we doing for five meters? Sit. Bang on? Yeah, you're just, you're bang on it right there. I'm going to come up on the hydraulics. Stand by him. I'm going to sit down, Dave. Okay. I was going to sit it's down. It's up to the pilots, he said. Let's bang on five meters to the west. Yeah, that's looking... Happy. Happy. There's some current here, hey? Yeah. Well, that's good for this viz stirrup. So we got to take the magnum off of this thing, I guess? Yep. I'm just going to get that. Sure. Out a wee bit so I know where I'm at. There we go. Stay. Stay. Okay. I'm going to rack in because it seems smart.
Bobby, are you going to want the stills camera for the coral surveys? Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? No, I'm joking. Yeah, you Stupid want to put bubble on it? What kind of question Just, is that? That's more a question for everyone at home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watching. Did we fix yeah. the, the interface that was like jittery? Uh, and it looks a little um, less jittery. Okay. But, I mean, okay. I don't think the jitteriness really affects the picture. Yeah. It just makes it a little frustrating to operate. Have you been taking pictures of the platforms? As yeah, well? I think that should be actually added to our dive plans where we take, when you have digital stills available, take pictures yeah. of the platforms because it's so good for yeah. s seeing which cables are crossing, where they're laying, how many That's twists, all that kind of stuff. It's very helpful. Okay. No. Cool. It looks like Martin's standing by on shore. Give us any kind of tips Maybe or just take this way up. Sure. Advice. That works for me. Get it out of the way. Yeah, so Martin, right now the ROV heading is ninety three degrees. So if we stay in this if the um, sonar stays at that location and this is five meters almost exactly west of the instrument. Oops. Okay, so Dirk, where can I not grab this? You can grab that wherever you want. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Literally anywhere but the top, that ball at the top. Yeah, don't grab the dudes. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't, I was hoping that he wasn't going to go for the top, but. Oh, oh. Is your base of your arm kind of... It's just touching it. It's, yep. it's just touching but it, But I don't okay. know if we'll Fair be enough. able to get it without touching it. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Let me see. Sure. Can you show me that in bubble, mate, please? Yes. Yeah, I might not get there without touching it, mate. Can you scrape it kind of forward with the magnum? to get it out. I just don't know how fragile that ball is. I think it's pretty durable, but I don't know what it's squeezing up against. Yeah, is the porch all the way out, yeah? Yes, it's definitely all the way out, yes. Right, hang on, let me... You might, can you bring the porch in to get it out of the way, or is that gonna, no, you probably can't. There we go. And it goes sideways like that. Yeah. Road. So I'm um, just hold on one second. Um, I don't know what... Hmm. So Martin, don't worry. It's natural for that ball to kind of flop. Yeah, it'll flop back. It flops back. Don't worry about it. Maybe we have to get the magnum on get a leg and, and, and pull just across. pull it across. Yeah, because yeah, you're kind of under your suction too. Yeah. Suction. All right, let's come back around. Well, good thing we moved the leg to that side because that would have, could have been real snaggy under the suction hose. Also, that third leg is a little bit in the mud. Just FYI. How long is this cable, Turk? This is a 70 meter cable. Just around the leg, Dave. We're pushing it um, right now. What this do you mean? Is Open up around it. Uh, 65 meters from the IP. Grab the leg and just... So there's yeah. only five meters of slack. That's what I was Martin mm -hmm. wants it We're as just far pushing against the possible. leg, but uh, but the the one leg is digging in the dirt, so you do have to grab it and lift it up a yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, can I help yeah. you in the bubble? Yep. Let's see. Uh, 
Fabio Martin says he wrote a PhD thesis on a blob hanging below a mountain range. Do you know what that means? I wrote a PhD thesis on a blob. Blob? Is that a science term? Well, I, I'm used to the term blob of as of the Northeast Pacific marine heat wave. Uh, but a blob can be anything. A blob of meat or a rock. A blob, a blob of meat. <laughs> <laughs> a below a mountain root, heavy lithosphere. So maybe <laughs> me melted magma blob, Martin? He kind of overshot. He went from too dumbed down to way too, <laughs> way too specific. I love a good blob of meat now and then, though. <laughs> <laughs> Continental <laughs> collision. Oh, just got there. <laughs> Blob. <laughs> Blob. <laughs> Blob of meat. Oh, Tom, Tom is online now, chiming in. He's Hi, an, Tom. He's a geologist, too. Martin, that was it. <laughs> Can throw in some acronyms, I bet. <laughs> I think you'll have to shoulder up to bring that leg out of the mud and then drag it left if you can. Do you want me to look at the head? What would you like me to do? Um, somewhere there, I think, mate. So this, yeah. Uh, yep, I think that's it. And we just, if What's possible, up? occasionally just check on that bell. Yeah, just to make sure it's not pulling off or something. There we go. See, it already fixed itself. Yeah, those things are pretty durable. Yeah, and those little little lines actually holding it in, um, that's all 8th inch AM steel lines, so it's pretty strong stuff. I think it's like 1,500 pounds brake strength. And there's well, now you'll be able to grab it with the uh, other arm if you'd like. Yeah, I think so. And I don't think this you can just place. There's no orientation for this blob. <laughs> it's hard to orient a blob. Yeah. <laughs> See if I can bubble you in there. frozen we need to release the other jaw now don't we? Uh, I suppose that would be prudent. Still quite close to that. No. I think it will just kind of squeeze like scrape through the mud. Yeah. Hmm is that did that open or not? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a bubble. Drive the bubble. Um, based on the... If I'm looking at the camera, the stills camera, it did open. Did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. your, sure it did. your upper jaw is still yeah. on it. The bottom jaw is open. Cool. Uh, what happens if you're... Sh yeah, there we go. You're, now there's none of it's touching anymore. See if I can come out with it, huh? Okay. Right there. Stopped. Cheers. I am going to move you a little for not a That's fine. A minute, mate. Bother me.
Like one of those boxing things. Well, you'll have to, oh, you'll have to pick it up out of the mud, Dave. Yeah. The, those legs are too stuck in there now. Okay. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, watch the bumper bar. It's right above you. Yeah, you're real close to the digital stills. Oh, that's okay. This may fall over, but is that uh, okay or not? You can, like, if anything, you can stick it a little further down if you want it not to fall over, but we want it vertical. Oh, yeah, I know it needs to be vertical eventually, but... If you want it to fall over, that doesn't hurt it. Okay. I think we're... Yeah. We also might have to move it later, so it doesn't have to be precise, but we're in such a good position to just put it vertical now. So I think we should just put it vertical anyways. It's yeah, kind of what I agree. I'd like to do, but... Thank you. Let's get the outside of the vehicle enough from this position. Yeah. I, I, I get it, I get it. We come back around some more. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, that bell is coming fairly close yeah. to your bumper. What happened? If not touching so it. so close. Oh, nah. The arm is all octopus on itself there. Yeah. I'm just going to release for that. We're going to probably look in the Argus, all the, Fabio, right, look at all that stuff in Argus. That's so much right. in, that, in that water column, eh? In Atlanta, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. We're in the canyon. We're inside the submarine canyon, so we have lots of organic material and life making use of that organic. Yeah, compared to Endeavor, we're just position nice and blue water. Because it's way easier if you grab it close to the base. Yeah. Stand by. Arms good. Roger. Okay, now we wait. Forward on, maybe. Ah, that's why. That's what was going on. Auto head. Yeah. It's not what I wanted. Is that too far away or what? I don't know, give it a shot. All signs point to no. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, I think anything anything more adding anything more to the porch would have been a bit of a 
rectangle situation. Hopefully, I can release this. Roger. I think it's going to be good. I think so too. And we can just we'll give, give it, it one more. Ship roll out of the way. Sure thing. Yeah, and if we can just maybe grab it, straighten it, and just give it a little bit. more shove into the mud. Give her a little Jeez. nudge there. Yeah, we don't want this falling over, so. Right. Huh? It's pretty muddy. That is going to be very close to exactly five meters. Oh, yeah, because what's our distance to the thing right now? Uh, five point seven. Oh, yeah. That's and then that's it's what? It's, I think it's within five spec, point actually. Five point seven two, actually. Five point seven two, sorry. All right, how about I just read it out to you? Okay, so where are here it is? 48.1, uh, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48.31, 48
if you can back up like a couple meters. Oh, we should have said that before I landed, Dirk. Now it's gonna create a mess. That's it's the mess will solve itself. That's some real messes if we start tangling, tangling with that bucket. And we got to get the T-boss and scrub the sonar. And Back enough, or you want more? A little more. Uh, I can't tell. But that's yeah. probably good. Sonar, I that's did, good. I didn't, yeah, there we go. <laughs> You're like, I didn't. Move. I didn't back up at all. There we go. Uh, that looks good, right there. Okay. We're a few meters away. I am sat down. We got to work on our communication. Who, me and you? Yeah. I, we've been working on it. Yeah, I know. For years now. I know. What's that? That's Seven years part. of communication? Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> uh, how many years is that? Is that eight years? Um, as long as you've been working for ONC. Well, I also did a co-op in 2014, so. Well, I started in 2012. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's borderline ten years oh. to make this happen. Whoa. <laughs> To make this happen. <laughs> Still don't know how to talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of laughing, I guess. <laughs> That's all that matters, a lot really, of right? Scoffs. Huh. Scoff. 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 <sighs> Ugh. Oh, I made a mess. Oh. Sure did. So far, Martin's happy with beautiful as he's comment on the sonar bell placement. Thank you, Martin. Cool. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, so I mean, we're just waiting for some visibility, but the next step is grab the um, bridle mm -hmm. to the oily, place it off the porch, and then we can release the bungees, lift the connector, fly it over to the IP. All right, where's this bridle hanging out? Down there Should in the middle? Right in the middle. I think it's the yellow, is it the yellow tape? Is it no, that's no? the release weights or whatever it is for the front. Ah, the yes, front you're right, porch. yes, yes. Uh, Josh put some rubber around the bridle part, so it should be red orangish. There it is, coming into view now. I think it's that crab line, yeah. Red and blue. That tape. blue tape that's in the center there, yeah. just off center, I'm, to the front. I believe that's it. This Looks guy? Like it. Yeah, this, oh. I can come have a better look. Let's go have a look, see. Yeah, those, I don't think that was one of the pull pins, so. Right. The pull pins are. No, yeah, Josh put that one, on. One, two, that's, that's three. That's what we're grabbing. Right. Are we grabbing those first or second? Second. Second, second yeah. So the one in the middle first. Yep. Yes, correct. To take the entire Do bundle off the porch. This is a 40 pound lift. Yeah. See how those bungees hold up. Well, the bubble's no use to you at all. Nice. Anyone watching from home, you can see the Atalantis view, how that jellyfish is coming in out of view, and that's <laughs> yeah. how much the ship's rocking right now. Quite a bit. Nicely and the done. control van's on the highest point of the ship, so it moves the most. Yeah, I can retract the porch. That's great, yeah. Get the porch out of there. Ready? Yep. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's a pretty one. Fabio, what's that thing? What the? Yeah, it looks like something's gone through a thruster. It looks full and happy to me. Yeah, no, it looks, but it just, it's so transparent. I don't I think know, I've seen it like that. 
Rare. Actually, I'm going to this a bit closer to us. Right. Uh, just to get that far one. You see what I mean? The pull pin? Yeah. yeah. Sure. I don't know. We got a little bit of room. Yeah. yeah. Sure. We're all right, I think. Oh, Roger. What do you Dirk? Yeah. Next step? Next step is pull those pins. Three pull pins. Yeah. No particular order. No, they're all just bundling the cable together, so no no let, order to that. Let us know if you want any zoom there, Dave. Yeah, I'll take a little zoom, please. Should be able to grab anywhere on the green rope. Roger. Yep, that'll do. Now that zip tie is new, but it should break. Swing. Thank you, Pete. So this is all going to be one big mess we got to put in a box? Yeah, it's going to be one big, uh, yeah. I was about the forward box because there's nothing yeah. in it. Yeah, it's yeah. It's well away from thrusters. Absolutely. All right, Pete, let's zoom in again, buddy. Everything is at some, somewhere along the line, it's weighted down, so it shouldn't be able to go too out of, far out of control. But uh, yeah, definitely. I see the zip ties on these pull pins, but I don't think they're tied back, so... No, they're just to keep the... Yeah, okay. That's good. It's very well designed. Half of that was mine, and then someone came in and optimized it, I guess. Well, as usual with your work. Well, you know, the second set of eyes doesn't work, doesn't hurt. All right, Pete. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dirk, that was mean. Yeah, my mom's watching right now, so. <laughs> oh, just trying to. Dirk's mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> Worked him for a long time. He's a good person. That's so why on. he's so talkative now. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta show off. Yeah. Um, mm, I wonder if we can pull that out from under there. That's just what I'm thinking. It'd be really nice to get that out of there before we start flying that cable out. Yeah, definitely. What's your mom's name, Dirk? Santa. Santa. Hi, Santa. Maybe my mom could take note. <laughs> <laughs> if she's hearing this, if she's out there right now, maybe take note. Just tune in Thanks, more dude. often. <laughs> well, she's not watching. That's the problem. <laughs> Always watching my sister work. She's... <laughs> She's been around for too many of the uh, of the Venus dives. Yeah, she that's can't a good do point. it anymore. Yeah. Tune in for Venus. <laughs> Venus dive, straight to Georgia. Yeah, it's coming. Green. Might as well drop a GoPro in like <laughs> mud. like a, a mud, mud, and then just occasionally dunk it in some algae water. And then, Dave, for your next trick, you got to get all that in the box. Yeah. I wonder if we should uh, leave it off to the side for now get this thing plugged in and then connect this uh sure it doesn't matter to me we got to put it in the box at some point but i yeah if you can later. put it in the box now that's fine whatever you want to do well it's all out of there yeah so it's free um you want the box open yeah or uh Just for forward box yeah tool tool tray or whatever we're called it stand by Track the camera all the way. Yeah, please. Okay. All right, just let me see the arm a minute, mate. Hmm. Thank you. What? What a jungle gym. Jungle gym. <laughs> Look yeah. at it. It looks like something you'd use at the gym. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could like use it as resistance bands. Something. Oh, I wouldn't trust them. Till the bungee snaps and <laughs> right. hits Till one of those eye. knots come loose <laughs> yeah. and then just flick. Too many things that can go wrong. So many thing. things that can go wrong. 
I wonder if I can get you bubble to see the rest of the stuff to pick up. Yeah, and then we should make note not to open this box again for this guy. Yeah, not ever. <laughs> not ever. Seal it. I've got a funny feeling that's just going to fall right back on me. No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay. <laughs> Nice. Can't sometimes I just can't do that UGC math. Mm. <laughs> I usually just uh, look at the uh, the minutes. Exactly, but I didn't know what hour it was. <laughs> oh, we'd been here a while, so I assumed that you only had 30 minutes left. Are you snickering at me, Dirk, in the back row there? No, that wasn't me. Peanut, <coughs> peanut gallery. Gallery. Well, it's like a gallery view back there. <laughs> Is three a gallery? Four, right? Four. Yeah, how many do you have to have if, to be a gallery? Four. Okay. Uh, three, I think, could be a gallery. <laughs> Two's too little. Two's just a commentary? Yeah, two's like, um, you know, the two old guys on the Muppets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you want to tilt or pan or anything, Dave. Yeah, will do. Oh, Fabio, look at this. That's a good picture. Oh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lone oily in the mud. Nicely bundled. Very good composition. Yeah, you know, had a lot of practice this cruise. Yeah. I can give everyone some tips later. About composition? Just regurgitate what Ed told me. <laughs> and if anything is different, it would make no sense. I hope that he's just feeding you a bunch of lies. All the pictures are blurry for no reason. Just <laughs> thanks. What is that, Fabio? Those are screen grabs from before? No, these are our Coral Cliffs project annotation, image annotation project. But those are from, um, from screen last grabs from the video, right? Yeah, from and last, then this last year years. you'll have the stills camera. Yeah. Nice. Get off. Get some real high definition stuff. I'm excited for your science. Having this I'm extra. I'm glad you're excited for our science. I'm excited for science. the science. Yeah, next time Fabio's Thanks, on board, man. he can give us a full walk, full full walkthrough on. Uh, I want to see the canyon. What we've accomplished. Well, Maybe two years from now. We might be just diving at a freshly sunken whale carcass that we are going to put very close nearby. Oh, yeah. That's you're going to you're gonna put one down? Place. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that'll be cool. Here we go. Top. Yeah, that's an exciting project. It is really exciting. Where does one obtain a whale carcass? Um, we have now colleagues at the Department of Fisheries it, that they I'll, I'll monitor any um, strandings near the coast of Vancouver Island. Mm -hmm. Then we have to tow it, put a bunch of ballasts. Yeah. 
and then come look at after. <laughs> yeah, then we'll lay a cable to it and put all the sensors around the area to investigate. That'll be really fun. Also kind of smelly. <laughs> Megan yeah. has experience with dealing with dead whales. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, the thing with this, it would okay, be maybe. it would be down there in advance. Okay, I'm going to retract and port before we get the two trays coming out. Yep. Yeah, but if you're the one towing it. Oh yeah, you've you've done this. Uh, I haven't towed a whale, but I've done a necropsy on one. Yeah. yeah. She had to burn those clothes. Yeah. I heard yeah. it's uh yeah. Well, we had a whale bone experiment right here, actually, mm -hmm. at mid-east. Uh, Those are also pretty smelly. We had to <laughs> nice. strip the bones off the the remaining flesh. Mm -hmm. And that was, yeah, clothes had to be in the, Why? In the bin. Why is it so particularly smelly? Is it's it because of your oil yeah. in there? Or? Yeah, yeah uh, bacteria, yeah, bacteria okay. that grows in it. It just sticks. Yeah, like Close I guess your jaws it's very oily. Yeah. Yeah, we did a whale bone experiment you do the up same at thing? Um, ACO, the Aloha Cabled Observatory, but we couldn't refine the Is bones the after we dropped them. There, yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's oh, no. Relocate. Okay, yeah, we Stand couldn't by. find them. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I bet Jeff Drazen was not happy. It was Craig Smith, but oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Craig Smith's are coming out. It's a PI with with me on this yep. project. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. He'd been saving those bones. And it was actually kind of funny because everybody was like all up in those um, like paper onesie suits, like <laughs> so they looked very Breaking Bad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you throw it in the garbage. Yeah, you got it. But I was like, yeah, I'm not participating in this. <laughs> We probably would have been able to find it I'm if they put the a better sonar yep. tar target on the bag before they dropped it. Should be pretty high. Also, they, they didn't drop go, beacons like down with it. No. Just sonar targets. They, they just like dropped the bag and they're like, you'll be able to see it. We didn't. Oh. Yeah, it's funny how far stuff can drift or not drift. Like we've dropped things mm -hmm. and then w once we try to anchor a cable um, while we're doing a cable lay, and a massive oh, mud mat anchor that we lowered down to the site landed inside one of the IPs. The oh no! Like literally yeah, inside of it. Yeah, it just fell, it. and that's the heavy part. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, that's crazy. What are the chances? It was straight down. It's like, yeah. That it was like a kilometer or three, two and a half kilometers or something deep, and it just landed inside the IP. Let's never do that again. No. Uh, it's like an impossible shot. You know shot. what I'm talking about, dude? With the pin. The pin that's hanging. Just over the other yeah, side. It's, there? it's it's right. That's the pin hanging down. Oh, so gotcha. if you just grab that, that rope. Yeah, there you go. And that should be it. It's like a spider. It's so crazy. What is that there? Is that a an enemy growing on something? Yeah, it's probably on a rock or something. His future home will be the chicken bucket. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be super happy about it. They, nice up off the seafloor. They seem to love the ADCP um, transducer heads. Yeah. You get these. We'll go visit um, one at Barkley Upper Slope later, uh, maybe tomorrow. And it's massive. It's probably almost a foot across this anemone. And it there is just are. over one entire transducer. Nice. <laughs> it's like this is if the perfect spot for me. If I close on that, those bungees will. Yep. All okay, right. Okay, I'm going to close this. And that's how those bungees are going to be now. <laughs> well, I'd have to. That's, uh, that's okay. you working with it. Yes. So, uh, next step, Dirk, is to grab that connector. Yeah, to grab the connector. Now, we don't want to drag it over top of the sonar, but I guess we want to come up in the column first. Otherwise, it might come off funny and we might start you know, getting wraps underneath of other wraps. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I would almost suggest we grab it, come up like, you know, 40 meters or 50 meters even, and then lay that out because I'm worried about dragging it this way and then having these wraps cut into and bite into the pile. 
Yes, I under I agree and understand. Um, Megan, can we zoom in a couple here? And can we make a mark where we are just like right at the front of the vehicle? And then I want to, I'm going to go up in the water column after he grabs it and I'm going to stay on the, just right above it, but if anything, just slightly on the west side of it. No, east side of it, east side of it. So that I don't go that way at all, Dirk. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you, you want to be on the, yeah, the east side. Stay on the east side, side. just slightly. Because we can always, it's actually not oh. bad to just put a, be a belly in this cable down on the seafloor or a bend. I mean, we can always straighten it later. Roger. So as long as we don't go. Uh, can you grab the connector on the top, please, Tape? Absolutely. What did uh, we say about the enclosed spaces earlier? Just have to do a gas <laughs> check. <laughs> Tighten your seals, buddy. Uh, can I get a little bit of zoom, please, Pete? Right at the limit, eh? Yeah. Mike, you can grab the pucks. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah. Good grab. <laughs> You're not harming the cable with that grab. Nope. We also just don't want it falling out once we're in the column and, like, collapsing. Yeah, do you want me to re-grab this? I, yeah, yeah, if you can re-grab, that would be probably be safer. <laughs> Actually, if you could just unwind it like that, yeah, that'd be the great. The whole thing? Yeah. yeah. Put some twists in it. No, what do you, but, I mean, what do you think of the concept? 50 meters, 55 meters, it's 70 meter cable. I, I mean, think. up? Up, yeah. Okay, Pete. And then Should we lay it down as we move closer, we come down in the column. Sure. 50? 50, yeah. I think 50 is good, and then... We're going 62 total, plus maybe... Yeah, and if we are, like, going horizontal while we're still up at 50, oh it yeah. would flake off the rest in, yeah. a, like, a controlled way. Can I get in through there? Yeah, I don't think you want to, though, Dave, to be honest. Just get a... Just, just sideways, solid grip, solid grip is, is right, great. Yeah. yeah. Just get that blob of meat. Yeah, <laughs> that blob of meat. <laughs> Um, yeah, because if we start knifing and getting tangles on this cable, it turns this into like That's a five-hour operation pretty quick. Yeah. And then, Mr. All right, locked. Dave, if you could hold it in front of the vehicle so the connector is basically facing down, or the, the hose is facing down. So yeah. kind of there. Perfect. Dirk? I'm happy. Okay. Okay. Free. I'm assuming Dirk Martin's locked. happy, but I mean, Arms this is not, frozen. probably doesn't care. Good to go. Probably not. Shouldn't. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come way up. Yep. So I'll need you. Yeah. Yep. I'm just Lovely. Get this out, mate. Sure. Lap. Okay, Megan. So as I come up in the water column, just let me know if I do. If I drift west, that's bad. Okay. Yeah. All right. All ready? Yep. Let's go. Coming up. If I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> yeah, we're using this uh, camera for everything, huh? Stills camera? We love it. Yeah. It's pretty good. That's nine meters off bottom. <laughs> and Turber will be very happy that you're happy with his camera. Or yeah, I'm, I've never, I've never used one before, and this is, I'm very happy. Or oh, super light, hey, I'm 20 meters off and I haven't touched the sticks yet. Yeah, and you're coming up at 20 meters a minute. <laughs> yeah, really light.
<laughs> so uh, what we're going to do, if we go over to the IP, Josh, there is a, um, so there are some weights over there mm -hmm. that we oh. can pick up. Nice. Yeah, so there's, I don't know, there are two herquates, which are just a sing essentially like Alvin plates mm -hmm. sitting relatively close. And then, well, I guess not that close, but there's also a different weight right at the IP. So you're not going to get much, but you will get something. Roger, something. Okay. Write that Higher down. Altitude's 34. Yeah, 15 more meters to go, Dirk. Okay. I can't believe we're doing this with no inputs. Super late. Just sitting there, is she? Well, the X auto X Y is on. Oh, okay. Um, but the but I mean depth wise, like we got a lot of weight on this cable, and we're still going up. How does the auto X Y work at this depth? Uh, the is DVL can can keep track of bottom. Uh, really? Up to seventy five meters. Whoa! I think. That's impressive. Seem, seems to keep working. I'm keeping an eye on it in case it fails, but. Yeah, you still got four babies, eh? Yeah, I still got all all four. That is and impressive. we're almost at fifty meters with no with no vertical inputs too, which is also impressive. Or interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's 50 meters, Dirk. Okay, so I think uh, slowly start making your way over to the IP, but then also come down once we've gone a little bit off station. Okay. It's gonna uh, be it's gonna be kind of do it by field, Josh. I don't know. No, I told There's we've no done this. We do here. this lots. Yeah. It's all good. I'll get it. Uh, Megan, we're gonna go back to the IP, so we'll need a ship move. All right. A nice slow one, and I'll move with the ship when it starts. Okay. Yeah, because. If we're pulling from this high up, I don't think it's going to do any kind of knifing into itself. So. No, it's it's going to be fine. Even if it does, what's the, you know? 20 meters to untangle? Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll go down and just pull the other end out from the bottom. Yeah. be fine. Hopefully. I think we're okay. I'm not worried about it yet. Dirk, there's no way to do this wrong. <laughs> not at this point. Jeez. Oh, Jeez? <laughs> I've moved my screen your whole screen uh, yeah the screen jumped and so I was like oh no the thing I was looking at disappeared your screen got legs and jumped yep oh, oh. Uh, I'm just I, I'm feeling these rollers can we make a 50 uh, meter a move yeah man I getcha at one or three four five thank you Okay, let's start slowly moving our way over there. Yeah, Dirk, I hear you. you got to keep hydrated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just got to get the headaches from it, that's all. No, I get the same thing, for sure. Best is to watch Atalanta's screen and just kind of give that visual of okay, your movement. Okay, I'm moving now. <laughs> yep. Slowly to the north, basically. Backing up. Staying a little bit to the east. Yep. And then when we get about, I don't know, 10 meters away, Dirk, I'll start coming down slow. Uh, no, it would have to be... You think? Yeah, 10 meters from where you're starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I mean. Not yeah. from the IP, then you're overshot. How big are those squares, Megan? Your, these squares? Yeah. Are 10 Wait, meters. Okay, perfect. Yeah, by the time you're 10 meters off that, you'll be only 10 meters left on the ground in the bundle. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, there's essentially no, little chance to tangle what you've already pulled up, so... Right. Just landed blindly after that. Okay, we are closing in on 10 meters. And I'm going to slowly start to come down now. And Megan, the distance from the IP to the um, instrument was 65 meters? Yes. So in theory, I guess, once we're landed, it should be a 3 to 5 meter bundle left at that, maybe even less because we went past it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we should be perfectly strung out at that point. That sounds perfect.
Okay, 46 meters high, 15 meters away from our starting point. Yep. Roger. How is the how's the buoyancy, Josh? Is it tough finding it or not really? Uh, I have 41% vertical down on and I'm barely going down. And I have all this weight on the cable. Yeah, you probably have like 20 pounds of weight still yeah. on the cable. Yes. I think we'll we'll manage, but we definitely want those weights. Yeah. As soon as we drop this connector. 40 meters high, 20 meters from our original starting point. Yeah, I think that's that's the right trajectory. Slowing my descent just a little. If those squares are 10 meters, then that means we're, w I think, uh, we're going to the IP, right, May? Yeah, so this, this is not the correct uh, position. The position is actually down here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Roger. Yep. Perfect. Halfway there and 30 meters up, I'm going to come down a bit more. Yeah, yeah, because at this point we can... Drag it'll probably be it, loose, it yeah, yeah, it'll be loose bundles or loose loops. Roger. About 20 meters to go, and I'm going to come down even more. 20 meters off bottom. Coming down, Dave, we're going to need some... Yeah, I'm just I'm literally just giving you a load. Lovely. That's just bits of heave and... Got another up. 10 meters to go. Yep. And about 10 meters to the target, maybe 15. Mm. About 20. About 20, roger. Slowing my descent. About five meters off bottom, about Not 10 least. meters to go. There's bottom coming in. I'm going to turn so that I can hopefully see this thing soon. It so should be about. Sh yeah. Looks yeah. like it's pulling on that connector, but I think it's okay. Why? Yeah. It's going to drag a little bit. I gotta see this thing in sonar. Facing the wrong way. 
I'm gonna turn around. Uh, yeah, I gotta face that this way. way. Right? Yeah. Okay. Stand by. Yeah, it's quite a pull on there, but we're still fine. Are you finding that you're moving, Josh? Yep, very Little? slowly. You can see it kind of give once in a while. And almost there. Alright, he's not probably not What's even that, able uh, to. That's going to the IP, that cable probably, hey? Yep. To my right? Mm -hmm. Yep. RV's probably not able to put a lot of thrust on it anyways, for force. No, I, yeah, it's not like we can... It's like a few pounds, 20 sure pounds or so. Can't break it or anything, that's for sure. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty tight, I think. Yeah, it's just dragging. There's a lot of friction on the... If we find we can't move it, we can go and do a quick look over the cable, make sure it's not caught or weird bundles, because that could also stop us from moving mm -hmm. it. Roger, there's the IP, am I right? Yep. Yep. Which side are we on here? Just patience. We are looking Well, east. we came from the south, so we have to be... That's the connector panel there, right? In the, in the camera. Yeah, you can see it. There's yeah. only one mm -hmm. connector panel in this. Yeah. And it's the second from the right that you're aiming for. Yeah, we want to pull it a little, you know, give us some scope. Right? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you but don't not want that. too much. You don't want that guitar string trip hazard. Yeah, I think the working load on these oilies for tension, like in this orientation, is almost like 600 around. pounds. Pretty good. Yeah, they're super strong. They're strong, but it is also very annoying if they don't work, so. Just always gotta be a little careful. But I've never had them not work. Knock on wood. There's the IP, there's where we're going. Nice. Stand, stand. Oh, watch, uh, just yeah, keep an I eye on it. that bend. Yeah, yeah Dirk's gonna get nervous, so. <laughs> well, that's every, every time we do this, right? Yep. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. And we're gonna see what we got. Let's see what we've done. Yeah. Let's sit here for a sec, let it clear. Whoa, 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 dude. What's he doing? What has he got? I hope you didn't make a mistake. I don't know. A bunch of papers. Papers. I trying, it was to like look, a, trying to look busy. I just thought it was a bucket of cookies or something. With your reaction. Well, you got to have your pre dives ready. Uh, did you change them or did you just print them? New printings. So how do you turn around without bumping into stuff? Like, uh, you, you turned around, yeah. but it's really hard to see in the Atalanta view. And uh, so, like... Oh, well, I am... Well, that's too much. So, Dirk and I have um, done this. I don't know, I've probably done that cable kind of laying the way we did it just then about 300 times. Oh, okay. Um, Normally it's from bullhorns, though, right? And yeah, but but w and we usually work in places where there's no where vis is like this, so um, I guess the short answer I'm trying to say is by feel. Okay, you just know how big you are. Yeah. I want a little bit of forward, but not too much forward. Oh, Josh, you almost got a break. From you? Yeah, I know. You must be pretty excited. Yeah. 
Um, I'm just jealous, really. <laughs> Your mom watched. <laughs> my mom, my mom asked for the link, and I sent it to her. When we were at Endeavor, and I was like, "Tune in." And then the next day, she's like, "Oh, uh, I was driving to Kelowna, I couldn't." And I'm like, "Well, we're down for weather now, so thanks a lot." Aww. She tried. No, but she, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sure she likes to see what you do. She's so proud. <laughs> I'm sure she does. Where's the IP?